So Bob, why are we on the ground and the instructor's in the air? What's going on? Uh, we have come up with a theory that our instructor's in the air. <laughs> normally he would be down immediately to get us going mm. uh, because of the fact the winds are excessive for students or almost any PPG fly. Mm. And because of that, he's up enjoying himself a little bit, which is entirely understandable. Very good description. It's a bit lumpy. <laughs> the description. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you missed out on all the English we learned yesterday. We learned a whole new language. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> So you just tuck it around your ankles or? Yeah. Oh, just on the side of the feet, got you. Them shoes will be handy as well because they can just um, grip on the on the lugs on the feet.
So it's the second to last day and I'm just heading up to the airport now. There's a slight chance we'll be able to fly today, but um, we've not been able to fly now for three day, two, th two or three days. So, I can't remember what we're on now, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, yeah, so we flew on Sunday, I think, so we've had Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday where we've not been able to fly. <clears throat> so, yeah, fingers crossed, we'll be able to fly this morning. If not, then possibly this evening and definitely tomorrow morning. Uh, the winds are looking very, very light for tomorrow morning, so. But we're going up there this morning just to check it out. So just heading up to that hangar. Uh, Lauren has uh, just been flying, so we'll find out the verdict in a moment. But it's not looking good. There's a lot of low clouds sort of whisping by quite quickly. Morning. What's the verdict, Captain? You know, looking at the data, uh, it, it calls to be flyable. Yeah. But after doing a test flight, um, there's something afoot. <laughs> there's, there's, it's something. So that's quite, quite low, that cloud, isn't it? Yeah, something's not quite something's right up there. Weird. Mm. Uh, it feels rough. And yeah. We do have rain moving in the area by 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah, yeah. I think it may be carrying a little bit of energy with it. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think we'll be flying this morning. Okay, dokie. Uh, Good time for some ground handling though. Oh yeah. It's different direction as well, the wind now, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. Cool. So tomorrow morning looks good though, doesn't it? Absolutely. This evening looks yeah. like we might have a shot. Yeah. So we'll see how things lay down today after this. Sunset flight. After, uh, <laughs> after the rain rolls through. A lot of times we're left with good weather in its wake. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. we shall see. Not for me then. So in the local shopping mall, not a lot going on. There's not many shops open actually. So, but it's actually raining outside. It actually started tipping it down earlier when we was just kiting. So went and grabbed some breakfast and then. Uh, a little scenic trip around the lake, and then I've just come into the uh, into the shopping centre. So, just getting me stuff packed up. Uh, last day or last night here. Uh, so yeah, getting my stuff sorted out, ready to head back to the airport tomorrow afternoon. Uh, but before that happens, the weather is looking really, really good for tomorrow morning. So we touch wood. Loads of wood here. Touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. Um, we will get some flying in in the morning. Uh, we haven't flown for the past three days. Um, so, and funnily enough, um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting itchy to fly. So, um, so yeah, just getting my stuff packed up here now. And then, um, hopefully we'll be out for some dinner later on with Bob and uh, Get a good night's sleep, everything will be all ready and ship shape in here for tomorrow morning early. And then get out and get some flying in before we head back. So it's about half past ten at night. And it seems like everybody has gone in for the night. This is the little park that I've been staying on. It consists of probably about a dozen little homes. Anyway, this is interesting. It's coming up to Halloween. I've got a ghost hanging in the tree. Uh, over here, these skeletons have been moving about all week. They sat here in here. <laughs> so they're sat there now um, but they've been out on the front on the grass here near the road um, they've, they've been all over this week every time I've come back they've been in a different place so this is the main road across the road there we've got some homes the camera's going a bit fuzzy it's so humid out here it's unbelievable but it's warm and it's humid the moment you come out you can kind of feel your skin going moist That's the, uh, this is the park that I've been staying at for the last couple of weeks. So I'm off to bed. 
very very soon Friday morning tomorrow my last morning here and thankfully the weather is looking perfect for some flights so looking to get a few flights in tomorrow morning before I grab some breakfast with the guys a bit of a celebration breakfast I think and then uh, I'm heading back to Orlando Airport Pretty decent for an Airbnb. That's it. I'm going in. Good night. <clears throat> so it's the last morning. I'm just heading down to the airport now. Hopefully going to get a flight in. However, it doesn't really show up that well on camera here but it's pretty foggy um, and if that's the case then it's unlikely that we're going to fly so I'm just hoping that as the sun sort of rises it's going to burn the fog off maybe in about an hour or so we should be good to go so we'll see when we get there So when I arrived at the airport the fog was still lying fairly low and it didn't look like we were going to get any flights in. Um, but as you can see it did lift and I managed to get seven flights in before heading back to Orlando airport for my trip back to the UK. So uh, as you can imagine I was uh, one very happy chappy uh, that morning, really good. waiting for my flight back to the UK that's it that's the two weeks over with PPG course completed I think I got about 32 flights in in the end I'm just gonna go through and uh, get to my gate in a second or so I just want to show you this Yeah, looks pretty real. Had me convinced for a minute. I thought, there's a man in a glass box. What's that about? Um, but uh, waxwork, I think. So, right, that's it. Um, that's the end of this adventure. And we'll get planning the next one soon. I'll be back in the UK in about 10 to 12 hours' time. Over and out.